Sudan as you never seen before. Vivid, vibrant and forceful. Sand in my eyes is a traveling exhibition that presents visual and spoken word about the daily lives of different cultures of Sudan. Eniko Nagi is the photographer and author of the exhibition. She went to Sudan in 2006 as a development worker. After two and a half years, instead of returning home, she decided to stay and write a book. She wanted to show a Sudan we don't see. My idea was to show the humanity and the cultures of Sudan. Um, I believe there is a paradigm which um, implies that African countries are poor and that they need help. Um, it's a paradigm which is so widespread that people in African countries have bought into it. And it's a paradigm that makes people think um, of their own cultures as poor and backward. The exhibition presents over 26,000 photos and 2,500 pieces of oral proverbs, legends, myth, poetry and songs Eniko has collected. The images are different to those one might expect from Sudan. In Sudan I found uh, people from whom the world can learn a lot and I wanted to show this. I wanted to provide a forum in which the moments from daily life, which are normally not newsworthy and why we don't see them in media, um, tell about who the Sudanese people are and how they look at the world. Eniko traveled 30,000 kilometers recording moments from people's daily lives in pictures and traditional narrative. During her research, she found help in the Sudanese people. I found people on the way who, who helped me, who traveled with me, who were local guides to me, um, other professionals who contributed or donated their work of translation, editing. Um, all in all, it took five and a half years and the book was published in 2014. The exhibition aimed to restart a positive narrative about Sudan. Iniko believes that it is the culture and people that make a place and that should speak on their behalf. I think that people need to retain the power to define who they are. And um, it is important to talk about conflict and poverty, but if that's the only thing we talk about, then um, we don't do justice to so many countries because it obliterates a people. The exhibition provides an epic journey with an intimate look into people's lives and experience.